Hi friends, welcome to Bone Doctor. Today we are going to discuss stages of bone union. That is, if you experience a fracture in your body, if one of your bones in your body gets fractured, then what is the process that fracture unites and how long does it take for a fracture to unite? Whenever a bone breaks, the two pieces which are produced bleeds a lot and due to this bleeding, there is a hematoma or a blood clot which is formed between the ends of the bones. This is known as a fracture hematoma. This hematoma is very important and the most important first step for bone formation. This hematoma attracts various cells which starts inflammation and starts the process of bone formation. The hematoma lasts for around 8 days after which starts the second stage that is a stage of bone formation. In this stage various bone producing cells that is the osteogenic cells, osteoblast, osteoclast, platelets, white blood cells, they come together to produce a soft callus, a cartilage type structure in between the two bones. It is very soft, it is not structurally rigid but it is sticky and it helps to keep the two ends of the broken bones together. This soft callus lasts for around 2 to 3 weeks. After that comes the stage of hard callus. That is that soft callus is calcified and due to calcification that soft callus is converted into bone. This bone is connected between the two fractured ends of the bones and that gives a structural support to the broken bone. This occurs at around 4 to 6 weeks after the fracture has occurred. Thus by around 6 weeks the bones that have been fractured are united and connected by a hard callus which is bone and which is structurally somewhat stable and can take on forces which falls on the bones. But this is not the normal bone that is this is not that bone which has been fractured. It is not structurally as sound as a normal bone. Thus after 6 weeks starts the stage of bone remodeling. In this process the body takes out or remodels the heart callus into new bone which looks structurally similar to the old broken bone. This remodeling process can continue for around 3 months, in some cases 6 months, in old patients it may continue up to 1 year. This completes the whole process of bone formation or bone union after a fracture has occurred. Thus, whenever you encounter fracture, it would take around one and a half months for the fracture to temporarily or partially unite and it would be completely healed by around three to six months depending upon the age and the nutritional deficiencies and the nutritional contents of that patient. In my next video, I would like to discuss things which causes delayed union and what is a delayed union, what is a non-union. So if you like these videos, please give a like and do comment your queries and please subscribe to my channel Bone Doctor for further such videos. So bye bye for now, take care.